Welcome back. All right, uh, Buffalo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21? Seriously? Um, that seems like a lot. All right, so with Buffalo, they've gone through a lot of changes over the years, like a lot. Let's go through some team, a team that hasn't, and that's the Rochester Americans. Rochester Americans, and you get what you paid for. This is... Um, Honestly, both of them really nice jerseys. I think both of these I got through uh, Jersey Baron. I also have one identical to this that I got through the AHL store. The only difference being the neckline, because sure, why not? Um, but for the purpose of this this collection video, there, there's there's no point showing the other one. So Rochester Americans, uh, a look that works. It is very American. And so kudos to them for sticking the landing there. They've had some specialties as well that I, I thought about buying, but I never ended up buying. Like they had, I think it was a red third a couple years ago. I didn't end up buying that one. Then we go to their old look. Now, their old look looks a lot like their current look. A lot. But it's not exactly the same. Not exactly. Uh, the white one is closer to what they wear now, but the colors are a little bit different. And the logo is a little bit different. And so, yeah, these are what they wore in the 80s. Uh, it's always interesting to me that the Buffalo Sabres logo is on both shoulders as well as on the front. I mean, that makes it kind of busy. It's kind of redundant. So on their current jerseys, you don't have that. Uh, the Buffalo logo is on the white ones as well. With the shoulder yoke, I don't know. It makes it look a little better. No idea why. I do prefer the white one to the blue one. But that's just me. Um, eventually, uh, they decided they were going to go with a new look. And so we ended up with what became known as the Angry Goat Head, which I understand it's a buffalo head. I know. So this is the original version, and this is the current version. There are differences in the logo. There are differences in the way that it looks. I think this one looks much better than this one. It's just those small changes to the logo and just in general. I just I think this one looks that much cleaner and nicer but that's just me, and I know these two are very close to one another, but again, enough differences that I was like, well, they, they both have to be in the collection video, right? And then I also have, because I get asked about this one, and of course I have this one. Now, this one I got used off eBay. It is a Michael Pekka, so uh, Michael Pekka jersey, and yeah, uh, again, uh, this one's a pro player, you have the logo that's kind of kind of warped and kind of bubbly, but you're going to have that with Pro Player anyways. And so, yeah, uh, again, it's just the white version of the same one I was just showing you. I'd love to see them bring this back as well. I don't think they'll ever change back to to that look fully. And during that time, they had the third jersey, which most people loathe. Most people loathe this jersey, not this guy. Uh, I always thought that was really nice. I always thought it was something different. Again, a red and black. I have a weakness for. Uh, but also, I like the crossed swords on the front. I thought that was nice. I'm like, well, there's the sabers. So that works. A black circle, not so much. But but maybe, you know, Porky Pig was out doing his bidip, bidip, bidip. That's all, folks. And the swords decided, or the sabers decided they were having none of it. So you just, um, that would explain the red color. So while this gets dark... Uh, I do like the, the word mark along the bottom as well. Uh, this is actually screen printed on, so it's not, you don't have to worry about this wearing out. Uh, but again, this one was, this one was tough to find in my size. Uh, I had an extra large for the longest time. I did eventually find one, uh, in a size medium, which is right about my size in Coho. Um, a little bit big, but still with jerseys, I'm used to that. Uh, but nice jersey. I like it quite a bit. You see the K there for the Cohos. And, uh, yeah, and coho on the back as well but nice jersey again i'm one of the few that believes that so there's that uh eventually buffalo decides to change their look again and buffalo fans are like no you can leave those out but can i the funny thing is the on ice product when they wore these jerseys they were actually pretty good and the first couple of years that they wore these jerseys they were the biggest sellers in the national hockey league so when the nhl talks about their biggest sellers you can always answer with, remember the Buffalo Slug used to be a big seller? And then it just didn't work anymore. It, it definitely looks like a slug. It's a banana slug with horns. And so that look did not did not last 
overly long. But again, they had some success wearing them. Uh, so do you bring them back at some point and see? I mean, they've had success with the goat head. Maybe they'd have success with these as well. I like the white one better than the blue one in these in this set too, but it's faint praise. Definitely faint praise. Uh, let's just say I, I didn't have any concern about whether or not that should be in the top 100 when I was when I was figuring out my 101 top jerseys. Uh, then, of course, there's another ugly one in here we've got to talk about. We have to. We have to discuss this at least a little bit. You've got the word mark here. You've got the fact that it's blue on the back and it's yellow on the front and there's gray on the sleeves. It's like there's three different designs here and they it was late, they were tired, and they went, look, we'll just, we'll, we'll meld them all into one. We'll talk it over in the morning. Just don't let anybody see the prototype. And then somebody grabbed the prototype and went, I guess this is what we're using. And there you go. Because there's so many, like the gray here, but it ends here. And it's just, it, there's so many weird things about this jersey. Uh, it is an authentic because when I saw a chance to get an authentic off uh, Full Moon jerseys, I was like, well, obviously I'd have to have an authentic of this. And I have a Tyler Myers in this that I got for 30 bucks. So I have like three of these. So I could bring three of them to a meetup and have just like a line of just ugliness. And we'd all look like we're wearing capes because on the back it's, it's, it's a different color. It's almost like you're wearing a superhero cape, but it doesn't move. So they didn't win a lot wearing that. Uh, one, one jersey they wore, which went over pretty well, uh, this one here. Now, to show how long, how far back this one goes, uh, this is a Derek Roy. So, Derek Roy, and since it's a Reebok replica, it's not actually the felt numbers. Uh, this is, you see the 1970 here for when the team was brought in. You know what? It's okay. It's fine. Uh, as far as word marks go, it's fine. It's different. It's definitely different. All right, it does feel like with Buffalo, there's more explaining that needs to be done. So throwbacks, or you know what? I'm going to do the reverse retros first. I'm doing the reverse retros last on a lot of these, but I'm going to do it first here. Because it does get into the designs I just showed you. You find people on the internet. So you can see uh, that these are just old jersey designs they had. And they decided to do them in the current colors. And it works. I think they're both nice. Uh, there's a lot of negative space on this one, sure. Uh, it is just white on the back. This one is uh, pretty much the, the same, so you're not getting a lot on the back. This is definitely one that if you get a name and number with it, I think it looks better. Um, I don't have one with a name and number. But uh, I love the logo. I love that they did this on a reverse retro as well. Uh, this one is 1996. This one's 2000, but really it's the same era. They're both from the same era. So I'll throw this back here. And then I want to talk about this one here. So another Heritage uh, jersey here. I really like this one a lot. This is a suede material for the Buffalo. Very nicely done. Um, I do like when the NHL logo isn't actually in the neckline when it's down here, which they do for the Heritage and for some of the Heritage. And for all the Winter Classics, it seems the, the NHL logo is in a bit of a different spot. They have the cross hatch right here. Uh, it's really nice. This is a size 52. That's that's the smallest size I could get it in. And this, as far as I know, is uh, is gone everywhere. I haven't seen this on sale anywhere in years. So I'm glad that I can stomach a 52 because um, otherwise I, I wouldn't have one that I could wear. But I can, I can wear a 52. I can wear a 46, a 50, a 52. Also, that Anaheim jersey I was wearing earlier today, that's a 44. So I can wear a 44, 46, a 50, a 52. Jersey sizes, I don't think, are as touchy as they are for others. All right, so before they changed their color scheme, they did go back to the Buffalo. And I like these. I think they're fine. Now, this one here, I had to get through. Uh, it was One Shot Buffalo, the, the actual Buffalo Sabres store. Uh, you see the 50th anniversary there on the shoulder. It looks absolutely fantastic. Their 50th anniversary put uh, put the Canucks logo to shame. The, the patch, it's not even close. Uh, and then I decided, well, I have to get a name on the back because they're all name on the back jerseys. I'm going to get the one of the player that I don't think is going to get traded. They didn't trade him. So, uh, but yeah, that's my Olmark jersey. It's not a Boston jersey. It's a Buffalo. 
And uh, I like these. I do. I think they're sharp jerseys. I never understood the numbers on the front. I've, I've never understood hockey jerseys. They've got the number on the sleeve, the number on the back. Don't put a number on the front. There's a reason most teams don't put numbers on the front. This isn't football. Don't put numbers on the front. But even football, you, you don't have the number. Do you have the number on the back, the sides, and the front? I think you actually do. So that looks kind of silly too, doesn't it? All right. So let's do the 50th anniversary. 50th anniversary, an absolute thing of beauty. This is the first time we see the textured buffalo. And the texturing on the gold is phenomenal. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love the striping on it as well. Uh, this is a really well thought out jersey. Uh, and you see 50 in here. And it's got the original, the goat head, the uh, crossed swords, and the buff slug. So, and of course... Uh, this is what they wore for the 50th. It's absolutely fantastic. This is a Clint Malarchuk. Um, I had a Jack Eichel. I realized that Eichel, probably not going to be able to wear that one for a while because Jack Eichel. So I got it in a Malarchuk because it was on sale because for some reason this didn't sell very well. I'm not sure what it is, but I got it on sale and uh, got Malarchuk's name on the back because that won't age poorly because Malarchuk hasn't played for the team since, is it 89? 89 or 90. It's been a while since Clint Malarchuk played in the NHL. And then this absolutely fantastic heritage jersey. So this one, the NHL logo is back up here. I do like how the strings are done. Absolutely love this on the shoulders. That's fantastic. This should be featured, I think, on the regular jerseys. But that's just me. Again, my opinion may be different. Cream colored is very similar to the white, but oh so sharp. I uh, really like the striping on it as well. This is absolutely fantastic. So, uh, and again, you've got the textured buffalo. Because once they did the textured buffalo that first time, you kind of have to leave it that way. Which brings us to their home and away set currently. Uh, this, of course, is very similar to what they wore in the 80s. This is actually uh, a lot different. So we'll go back. We'll grab the 80s one here. So this is very similar. But there are minor differences. The color is uh, it is a little bit lighter on this than it is on this. And so, yeah, they're similar. They're very much similar. This is one of those things where my wife would be face palming right now. But I can I can see differences. And definitely the fact that they don't have the buffaloes on the shoulder of their current jersey, much, much better. Um, and then with their, with their home jersey and their 80s away jersey, which is another oddity, you can see more differences. And the difference in color is definitely more noticeable uh, here. And there's no yellow around the current neckline. Again, there's no buffaloes on the shoulders with their current jersey. It is a very clean, very nicely done jersey. Uh, they retain a little bit of, of color in there as well with the yellow. Uh, that is just a little bit of... I was looking to say, is it gray or white? It is white. I wanted to make sure because uh, they have had gray in their jerseys as well. But I love the textured Buffalo logo. It just looks so amazing. And so, yeah, Buffalo is is definitely a team that does really well with its jerseys. I know the on-ice product's been a challenge for a while, but the on-ice, the jerseys have been excellent. So hopefully that continues uh, for a long time to come. I don't think they'll ever change from this logo again. I think that's that's it for good now. Uh, the goat head will stay as a third. Maybe the Buffalo slug shows up for... Uh, you know, remember how ugly it was night, but other than that, I, I don't think we'll see it again. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.